I'm working on a very special project. Now, for all of you who have seen any of my videos, you may know what this is. This is a retractable Wolverine Claw. See that? Let me give you the breakdown. We've got this piece here, goes around the forearm. We've got this piece here, which is the base. This piece here, this is the grip. So, let's get to the real funness. Here's the point of the claw. It slides out like this. It goes in like this. This is going to be the tricky part. How do you go ahead and make it come out? Now I want to show you something fun. I bet you're wondering, how does he go ahead and keep it from sliding in and out? Don't you have to have some sort of complicated locking system that requires massive amounts of welding and technology? WRONG! I'm doing something very simple. I'm flexing my wrist. See that? I do this, and it takes, you know, basically if I just let my wrist, you know, relax, normal, neutral, the claw slides easily. If I slightly put my wrist down, claw is MUCH HARDER TO PULL OUT! And then if I go like this, much harder to pour, force back in. Of course, you can force it back in, it's just going to be very painful, because this is very pointy. Alright, so, what you see here is quite simply, uh, you know, work in progress. Um, I have to make everything by hand. There's nothing I've ever seen remotely close to this sort of mechanism that I've seen anywhere. See, I can see you through here. That's because I have separate rails right here, top and bottom, and the clay, you know, the blade goes right in the center. So this is what it looks like from the top, from the side. I'm gonna have three of these, you know, spaced out so that way when the claws come out, it'll come out to the top of my knuckles. Right now, I just have it, you know, looking the one way. One's for you, Cyclops. That's just something I'm working on as a retractable claw. Kind of like a, a prototype, but um, if it works out, then I can go ahead and have myself a full-on awesome-looking uh, functional Wolverine costume with uh, sweet claw action. And for most of you watching, yes, I can probably modify this to make it the Assassin's Creed blade that comes out the wrist. When it comes to Assassin's Creed, I'm going to go ahead and wait on that one and come up with something after I've perfected this whole claw technology. I made this uh, using several pieces of metal. This is just a very thin metal, uh, not very thick as you can see. Uh, I would assume that it's about 24, 22 gauge. You can get this at most metal shops. Uh, Home Depot doesn't really have it. Uh, they have a very thin, thin, that's like 26 gauge. And this uh, metal here is about the same thing. So I just took, traced out a pattern used metal snips, not scissors, metal snips to go ahead and cut this bad boy and get it how I want. Uh, right now it's just tacked in place with some hot glue and then uh, once I've got the actual functional prototype and I can make you know several of these and a three for each hand, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a much better mounting system for the top of the base. So this is my retractable claw prototype. Perfect.